Hi, this is Raheem Zulfakaili. In this video tutorial, we will learn about the font group available in Microsoft Word application. So for this, I need to have some paragraphs and for having some random paragraphs, I will write one equation equals to rand and two round brackets. All right, so I got my paragraphs and now we will apply some or test some of the features available in the font group of Microsoft Word application. So let's get started. I will select a paragraph first and then I will try to apply all the available possible options in the font group. So bold, italic and underline is almost same as we have almost in all the applications now uh, of Microsoft products. Then we can change the font uh, type which we want. There are a lot of fonts, but we know that we use some standard fonts when it all about the professional documents. Uh, we can change the font size as well from here. Uh, the maximum size available is 72 here, but you can also type a bigger number or more than 72 number here in this box. Uh, there are also two buttons which are a, a small capital A and a big capital A, which is for the increasing of the font size one by one and a decreasing of a font size as well. Then we have very interesting feature uh, in this font group that is called change case. So there are different kind of change case. The first one is the sentence case. The second one is lower. It will make all the alphabets into the lower, as you can see here. The sentence case. So each sentence, first word alphabet will be capital and remaining will small. Upper case will make all the letters into the capital letters. Capital each, capitalize each word. So every word first alphabet is capitalized here. You can see that. And then toggle case right so these are very interesting uh, options available as come uh, as related to this um, change case all right then we have this strike through which um, draw a line in the center of the text then we have superscript and a subscript and when we go to the references in the references uh, footnotes and endnotes in that particular video we will discuss uh, more about the subscript and superscript as well uh, then we have word art available as well and we have a lot of options like giving an outline to the word art shadow reflection so if any font you like by pre-built you can apply that on your font as well then we have highlight highlighting option and we have some uh, available colors there are 15 colors available then you can change the font color as well if you don't like any font color so there are a lot of colors available and uh, if you go to the more color so you can explore and make a combination of your desired color right so these are all the default features available in the font group in this ribbon uh, within the home tab whereas you can explore more about font when if you can look at this group so at, at the right bottom side of a group there is a small arrow so when you click on it so a dialog window of font will open where you can do a lot of more things which are not available on on the ribbon style interface right so there are a lot of other things as well and I, and I want you to after watching this video do some practice as well for all these features so that you can explore more and learn more. Uh, my uh, responsibility is that I in these kind of videos for the beginners uh, I am trying my level best to make you explore all the available options and how they work but uh, definitely your support is important. Uh, after watching this video, you have to practice as well, not just by seeing, but also by doing some hands-on on the documents, right? So you can you have to explore this font dialog window as well. So this is all about the fundamentals of font group. Uh, some of the features were new uh, here with us, but uh, most of them are same when, when it comes to the Excel and PowerPoint as well. Thank you so much.